Hey guys, Marcus here. If you can hear me okay, please let me know by typing something in the box, and a uh, little box on YouTube that is. And uh, if you can hear me, just let me know. And we're going to be getting started here in just a little bit. I'll get my little timer going. I think I have my timer on this one. Let me see. Hold on one second. And we'll add that old timer here. All right, cool. We should have the timer. If I There we go. There's our timer. I'll move over here for you so you guys can see that. And uh, we'll be getting started here in just a little bit. Um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hanging out and going through how to get um, keywords, right? We're going to go over keywords. We're going to go over YouTube keywords. We're going to go over everything. So this is going to be one that you don't want to miss because we're going to teach you guys how to find these keywords. So if you've been wanting to learn how to find uh, niches, if you want to get more traffic to your YouTube channel, if you want more sales, if you want more traffic that converts into leads and money, if you want to get people to your site so you can make money, this is the place to be. We are going to go into some deep keyword research tactics on this call. There's going to be some things left out, but not much. The things left out, you know, you can get my course and everything like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to brush over and give you a good understanding of keywords. So at the end of this webinar, you'll be able to go out there and find niche markets, get traffic, understand the keyword intent, understand the idea behind keywords, how to structure keywords, if you're selling a product, how to find product keywords that are non-competitive. The name of the game here is we are going to teach you non-competitive stuff. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for this entire thing. We're gonna be starting in about five minutes and 40 some odd seconds. And um, so that now is your time if you want to get a drink, chill out, relax, uh, get a notebook. Uh, as you guys can see, I always have notebooks here, uh, which is one of my tips to keywords and research and things like that uh, for YouTube is having a notebook handy no matter what you're doing. So it's very important. So hopefully um, you guys can hear me okay. Hopefully the two fans aren't too much um, because we had to get two fans in here. It's like, I don't even know what the humidity is today, but it's, it's pretty crazy. Let's see here. And go ahead and type in where you're listening from and your name. Uh, we don't want weather radar. We just want weather. There we go. All right. So it's 88 with a 58% humidity. Um, uh, so it's basically like you're in here just baking, right? You're just baking. It's just good. I need a good cooking. Uh, through and through, you know, helps me out. All right, excellent. We got uh, How to Cody from California, Brett from Massachusetts, um, Juan from Spanish Toledo, Patrick from Long Beach, Clyde from St. Louis. I was just listening to some St. Louis uh, bluegrass, or what would it be called? It's kind of like blues, but not really. It's like old town, dirty blues, which is good stuff. Um, Kamal from India, excellent culture there. I love studying Indian culture. Um, Art from Denver. Uh, we got uh, Miami FB alerts from Miami. Phoenix, 80 degrees in Phoenix. I'll bet you you don't have my humidity though. Uh, Oliver from Vancouver. Um, I think, are you guys doing good in the playoffs? I don't know if Vancouver is or not. Uh, KS Tips from India, Malcolm from Georgia, David from Seattle, uh, Lori hanging out in Boise, Idaho, uh, We Just To Be Funny is from Sweden, um, Isaac from Sweden, Uzel from Bangladesh, all right. Excellent. So we got a lot of people here. You guys are going to stick around for the whole thing. Right now, we're just hanging out and giving you an overview of what's going on. So sit tight. I'm going to be right back with you. Uh, we're going to talk about keywords and everything. So we got about three minutes, and I think there's some music behind, um, behind the background. So sit tight, listen to the music, enjoy, and I'll be right back with you. And while I'm away, I'm going to go get some waters. Uh, while I'm away, feel free to type in your biggest question about keyword marketing, and I'll be right back with you.
Alright, so we are back. Can everyone hear me okay? Alright, cool. We'll get microphoned up here. Get this thing going. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so welcome back. We got everything set. Hopefully the air conditioner is on more than full blast. We got our waters, cigars, we got everything. So we're ready to go. All right, excellent. We got some questions coming in. Clyde says, where do we go to just get started? Do you have a program? Yes. The program that I always recommend people start at is simplesitesbonus.com. That is my main affiliate marketing flagship program that teaches you pretty much everything you need to know uh, to get started with affiliate marketing. And then of course you have support and help and everything like that. So it's a really good program to get. All right, so let's go here and let's see if we can get rid of the live thing. Go over to the classroom and let's see here. Go ahead and type in your major questions about affiliate marketing and we'll get those going for you and you can see on the screen the simple sites bonus link um, that's where you want to go if you want to get that program which is going to teach you everything um, so very very good to get that and hopefully i can get this other screen working sorry i had to rush out we got company coming over today so i had to um had to get some ribs we're going to cook some ribs for that dude who's in St. Louis, you know that it's good rib cooking time when it's kind of like really humid and cloudy. That's the best time. I mean, you can make some good ribs there. So hopefully this one will wake up. If not, we'll get it on the other screen as well. Let me see if I can drag this over there. Okay, cool. So looks like we're ready to go. I'm going to switch this around here and you guys should be seeing the chalkboard. There it is. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go over some really good keyword tactics. And I want to talk to you about how this works because keywords are everything. Okay. Keywords are little, literally everything. Okay. Uh, Clyde said he just had some ribs on Sunday. All right, man. You know what's in the house there. How to use trigger words. Uh, how to use trigger words. Okay, so we've got a lot of questions coming in about trigger words, and we're going to cover that. In the next hour, hour and a half or so, uh, before I fall over from heat exhaustion, right, I'll get this fan going, we are going to get you guys keyword info. So over the next hour, if you've been struggling with finding a niche, if you've been struggling with getting a market, if you've been struggling with getting traffic, if you've been struggling at getting views on your YouTube, if you've been struggling with all this stuff, it's go time, right? It's time for you to stop struggling. So we're going to go over this and we're going to go through everything. Malcolm, if you're an affiliate marketer, you do not need PayPal to get paid. Um, you can get paid by bank account. You can get paid. Some people pay you like with a, with a uh, debit card and, you know, anything. I mean, it's so easy now. It's not like when I started when you had to like prove all this stuff and be ridiculous. Um, now it's actually quite easy, right? You can get paid super easy, direct deposit, everything like that. So what we're going to do first and foremost, and if you guys are watching this on Facebook, if you're watching it on YouTube, feel free to share this with your group. All you got to do is copy the link somewhere, share it on your YouTube, uh, share it on your whatever, Facebooks, whatever you want, right? Get the word out because we're going to help you out. And the more people that we get on these calls, the more excited I get to teach stuff. So pretty cool. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about trigger words, okay? What is a trigger word? Now, a lot of times you'll hear me talk about trigger words and what trigger words are and how to use trigger words. A trigger word is a word that I use to trigger something else. Okay, so if I don't know what I'm doing, if I don't know what niche I want to go into, if I don't know how to get started, if I don't know this stuff, what I want to do is I want to use my trigger words, okay? Now, a trigger word, you'll notice that when you go into the AdWords tool, which we're going to be jumping into the computer in just a little bit, on the AdWords tool and other keyword tools, you'll notice that the natural tendency is to go to them and put in weight loss or make money or affiliate or whatever. Okay, now in this webinar, in this live cast training thing, we are going to show you the way around. So if you say, Marcus, 
everything seems competitive. Everyone's got videos. Everyone's got this. How does a little guy like me, I'm only five feet tall, right? Luckily we mounted this low. But how does a little guy like me get paid? How do I get paid? How do I get traffic? Now, the trigger words, instead of going to the Google AdWords tool and typing in weight loss, diet, mortgage, money, make money, affiliate, and all these things that are competitive, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in stuff like PDF download, or download, or find, or discover, or print, or ways to, or top 10. And what this is going to do is this is going to give us everything. This is going to give us everything. You see, what's gonna happen here is the whole world is going to become your playground because now, instead of going where all the competitive stuff is, you're going to be in a world of your own, right? Did you know that right now my top YouTube video that's over 100,000 views for a very competitive market is not related to affiliate marketing? It's not really related to making money online. It's not even related to like start a home business, but it's traffic that converts better than those words and it's super easy to rank for and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Very, very cool. All right, um, yes, this is a live presentation. It's 1.10 on 5.19, 2017. So we are live, we're here, we're rocking and ready to go. Um, and we're talking about trigger words, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how this works. Now, Johnny says, do you need your own domain name for each niche slash trigger word? Yes, I highly recommend that. Do you need it? No. Should you have it? Yes. Why? Because why mess around with pennies when we're talking hundreds of dollars, right? So many people get hung up on questions like, should I get a domain? Guys, domains are like 88 cents. Seriously, 88 cents. I think it probably costs more for the registrar in credit card fees than the domain actually costs. Or if you get them at some other place that's not on sale, maybe nine bucks or something. But at any rate, do you think you can make nine bucks off your domain? If you don't, then you know I can't help you. If you don't have faith in internet marketing and seeing all these people make money, I can't help you, I'm sorry. But if you do, nine bucks is a drop in the hat. So we're gonna look at this and we're gonna make it work. Happy birthday to David. Um, he said it's his birthday, so we gotta say happy birthday. Now, very cool. So what we wanna do is we wanna take a look at trigger words. Now, instead of using the major words, what we're going to do is we're gonna use words like find, download, uh, Excel, spreadsheet, file, uh, anything, right? Coloring pages, whatever. Lots of stuff out there. Now, what we wanna do with our trigger words is we wanna remember in the world of Marcus, in the affiliate marketing world of Marcus, we do not look for niches that have money attached. Why? Because in the world of Marcus, we know that everyone searching online is spending money on something. Something out there, right? These people are spending money. Just like if I was to say, do you think you could make money off a bunch of people being lazy, eating fattening food, drinking, and sitting on their couch? You'd say, no, Marcus, I can't make money on them. And then I'd say three letters, NFL, multi-billion dollar industry making money on people sitting on their damn couch. So if they can make money off that non-buyer market, which actually has a lot of buyers, then you can too. Very important, right? How can I make money on recipes? Well, these people are all going to cook stuff. Right, they're all gonna cook stuff. What if you led them to something like uh, those boxes of food people get that is, you know, you cook all the stuff. But anyway, we're gonna get into that. So what we wanna do first and foremost is we wanna find, if you're not, if you don't have a niche, find a niche using your trigger word, okay? We're gonna go through that. Once you have your keyword, let's say you're on YouTube and you say, Marcus, I'm in this, this uh, market which is like weight loss or I'm in this market which is like lose belly fat, get abs, okay? Or maybe you say, I'm in the alcoholic recovery market. Or maybe you say, I'm in the whatever market, mortgage market, okay? What you wanna do is you want to take your keyword, okay? You wanna take your keyword, your seed keyword, okay? This is your root word. If you're using your trigger words and you have something like download PDF, that's your root word. Got it? Everyone got it? Type root in the box if you get it. Root keyword, root. Right, I feel like Tommy Boy, Ruads, Road, or no, that was, uh, 
black sheep movie. I think his name was Mike or something like that. Mike Donnelly. A little help from the Donnelly campaign. Okay, you got your root keyword. Type root when you understand that. Awesome. Okay, you take your root keyword. Let's say our root keyword or market is affiliate marketing. I'm going to do this because a lot of you guys know this market and it's going to make sense. Okay, so we're going to use the affiliate marketing. What you want to do with your root keyword is you want to do two things. One, do some research. Okay, search. There's no spell checker here. Forgive me. Okay, we're going to do some research. We're going to say, okay, well, what's out there? We got affiliate marketing. Okay, maybe these people for affiliate marketing are wor worried about AdSense. Okay, maybe they're into AWeber. Maybe they're into squeeze pages. Maybe they're into traffic. Maybe they're into direct linking, okay, and so forth. Everything's going to happen. If you're in the weight loss market, they're going to be interested in uh, bench press. They're going to be interested in sit-ups. They're going to be interested in printable things they could take to the gym, printable uh, workout routines. Uh, I actually have one here on my desk, right? Check this out. So if you don't think this stuff works, I went to the gym, and he told me this stuff I need to do. And he gave me for free, even though my fat ass hasn't signed up for the gym yet, he gave me for free a little plan on how to do this, which is pretty cool. All right? So we look at this, and we're like, okay, good. This is value. This is non-competitive value. This is how you create content. Very important, okay? Because when you do this, you are never going to ask me, Marcus, how do I create content? Because your content is going to create itself. Your market is going to create your content. If you're doing this on YouTube, if you're doing it anywhere, this stuff works like magic. You just do it, right? And, oh, Marcus, is, is it going to succeed? Of course it is because it's based on something that works. Very important. So we're going to go through that. We got research. We got AdSense. We got Aweber, squeeze page, whatever, okay? What about stock market, okay? Stock market. Well, you're going to go options, binary options, trading tips. Um, what about bleeps? Okay, if you don't know your market, like for me, I don't know the stock market. I hate the stock market. It confuses the hell out of me. You talk about info overload. I try to learn the stock market, info overload. But if I wanted to go into that niche, what I would do is I would go to Google and I would type in a magic word. I would type in stock market glossary. What's this going to do? It's going to open up the entire world of keywords for you. Guys, this tip alone is worth its weight in gold if you use it. If you don't use it and you're like, Marcus, I already know all that stuff. I know how to make more money than you, but I don't do anything with it. So whatever, right? You got to use it. If you use it, it is so, so valuable. How do you think I found all these words? Right? By going to the glossary. All right? Web hosting glossary. Mortgage glossary. Weightlifting glossary. You're going to find all these things and it's going to open up. Like you're going to sit here and you'll be like, my niche is so competitive. It's so competitive. Here I am. I'm this and my niche is like this, right? And then you're going to go in and you're going to be like, whoa, my niche is this and this and this and this and this, 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 this. Pretty soon you're going to have content. You're going to be getting so much traffic. You're going to make money. You're going to have to turn away clients because you're making so much money. Or if you're an affiliate, you're just gonna make a lot of money and you're gonna be real happy, okay? So really cool, we have to look at this in a very direct way, very direct, okay? So we start with our root keyword, whether we find it with trigger words, whether we have a market we're already going for, we take our root word and we branch it out, whether we branch it out based on what we know or whether we branch it out based on the um, glossary method, right? You could do glossary, you could do dictionary, you could do all kinds of things. Now, what we're gonna do in just a minute, I'm going to jump into the computer and we're going to talk about this, okay? Very, very, very important. Like So Ninja says, glossary. I'm writing that in my notebook. Do it, guys. It's so simple. I wish that I stood here and looked a lot wiser than I am. But the fact of the matter is, is I just found a couple things that I'm really good at. Keywords is it, right? I'm not the greatest website designer. I'm not that great at codes. I suck at codes. Actually, my programmer has a joke that half of his job is fixing the stuff that I screw up. All right, really, that's what I screw things up. Okay, now I'm getting into complicated codes like making the YouTube page and everything that you guys watch. But for you guys, it's gonna be easy because we've done it all for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how this works. And I'm not that good at a lot of things, but I am good at finding a keyword, knowing the intent behind the keyword, 
why they're watching your video, why they're consuming your content, and taking it to the next level. Because this is what I call for the notebook people, anticipatory marketing. We are taking a keyword and we are anticipating what they want. I know if someone is typing in AdSense, they're probably new. They probably maybe have a website or they're looking at making money with websites. I know it's the same market. Now, I get traffic for free or like 20 cents a click in this market, okay? Other people, they're paying five bucks for make money online. Totally different person. Someone looking up make money online is like this. And they're like, dude, what kind of scam you got, bro? I just want to make money online, yo, dude, bro, bro. Hey, buddy, that's all I want. Your thing probably sucks. That's how they are. Guy looking up AdSense is going, hmm, I would like to make money on it. That Marcus is a real swell fella. He went there and taught me how to make money on the old AdSense, and now I know. That's a really nice guy. I sure would like to buy his stuff. Anticipatory marketing. I'm anticipating where they want to go. Someone looking up workout guide, they want to work out. Why do they want to work out? Because they want to be buff, right? Or whatever it is. They don't want to be fat, right? So very important. So we want to keep this in mind. One, trigger words. Two, glossary method. Three, anticipate where they're going. Let's hop in the computer and let's talk about how this works. This is going to be like a five water webinar. So I'm going to get some water here. All right. And we're going to hop in and we're going to talk about how this works in a real world way. And we're going to show you right there. And if you're new, if you're just now watching me and you like this stuff and you're like, that Marcus guy's pretty swell, give us a thumbs up, put lots of comments under the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell because we go live every Wednesday at four. Um, that's Eastern time and every Friday at one Eastern time. And you don't want to miss them. You might be hanging out doing that, trying to figure out ways to make money. And the little notification is going to come up and go, Hey dude, Marcus is live talking about what you're trying to learn. So that's pretty cool. Let's hop in the computer and talk about how this works. All right, and I hope my comments are actually going live here. Let's see. All right, so there's that. Let's see if we can get the computer one. And let's see, okay, move this over here. Bear with me one second. And we'll get the computer one going. And there we go. You guys should be seeing me and the computer and I think I gotta make this a little bit taller here go figure this is like the first time in history that something needs to be taller to fit me in it usually it's the other way around so if you can see me in the screen just let me know by typing that in I'm gonna refresh this old page and make sure that everyone is seeing me here sometimes our comments are kind of slow okay cool all right and now here's what we want to do first and foremost we're going to open up bing or ad thing whatever it's called you can see here it's pretty hot mostly cloudy 50 percent humidity it's pretty hot okay what program are you using that looks wild um i actually create all of my video stuff myself um so if you guys want to use this stuff make sure that you're signed up at videohacks.com at videohacks.com we're going to teach you how to use all this uh, we have templates and stuff it's a brand new thing so it's not like perfect yet but we are working on it so cool all right so we're going to go here and we're going to go to adwords keyword planner okay right like this so if you don't know where the google tool is there you go okay uh, kirk says google keyword tool is great yes but if you really want to kill it online you need some other keyword finder well yes and no you don't need one um i find that google is best because it comes from google right so google is good but thanks for the advertising kirk very cool all right <laughs> okay here we go we're gonna go here uh let's see we're gonna go log in i think we need to like log in somewhere where's our login okay we'll go back here and we're gonna go to this here and sign in there we go okay so now when you sign in to google the keyword planner you got to have an adwords account okay a lot of people ask me marcus why doesn't my google planner look like yours all you need to make it look like mine is one a master account which is you just go to google type in master account and you get a master account there's nothing fancy to it uh, and two you need a running ad okay so you'll notice in this account here um, i do not have a running ad and i'll make it big I don't think you guys want to really like look at my face so 
Uh, we'll go here. <laughs> I'll spare you with the face looking. And we'll go here and we'll take a look at how this works. Now, we're, we're going to dive in and we're going to talk about this stuff and we're going to go over it in a real world way. So if you have a running ad, like you can see here, I got this running ad. I spend like 300 bucks a month. I get a couple thousand visitors. Pretty cool. Because of that, it allows me to use the Google keyword tool, which is pretty cool. Okay. Tool. Cool. It rhymes, right? It's like Dr. Seuss, but you're learning to make money. Something like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive right in here and we're gonna show you how it works. Now, before I talk to you about the um, keyword trigger word method and all that, and we're gonna talk to you about how this works in a really cool way, okay? Uh, if you guys have a paused live feed, um, well, I guess I can't really give you advice because you can't hear it, but just refresh or something like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, now that we're in our Google client account, you can see master account, which is this one, client account, this one. We're gonna go into tools and we're gonna go into keyword planner, right like this, okay? Really cool. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look here. Okay, yeah, uh, Kirk, we're gonna remove you if you keep trying to advertise on here. Um, this is for people who wanna learn stuff. If you wanna advertise, make your own YouTube live video. It's cool, it's not that hard, right? Do it and uh, it'll be pretty cool. Okay, so one more time and you will be removed. All right, we're gonna go into search for keywords using a phrase, website, or category, okay? And we're gonna go in here to enter one or more of the following. Now, this is where you enter your keywords. This is where you start. This is like the beginning, okay? The beginning of the beginning of the beginning. So if you don't have a niche, what I would recommend you do is you go into your uh, simple site software, okay? In your simple site software, you want to go into niche finding, okay? Then you're going to go into trigger word training. The trigger word training is where you find the trigger word list. As you can see, the software is awesome. I don't need to sell it. It sells itself because it's awesome. All right, so we have our trigger word training. And uh, under trigger word training, you have a list of all these trigger words. Awesome. Good stuff. I think you get the thumbs up here. Let's see if you can get the thumbs up, right? Got to have the thumbs up. All right, so there you go. You have this list of keywords. Now, we can take this list of keywords even if you don't have a niche, and you can find niches in seconds. You say, Marcus, everything's too complicated. Everything's too competitive. I got a face that looks like this. How many of you guys feel like internet marketing is too competitive? Type competitive in the box, and we're going to shatter that right now. All right, we're just going to shatter it. You could be like, what's competition? Marcus, I don't know of this thing competition anymore because I learned your stuff, and it kicks the old butt. Okay, so if that's you, type competitive in the box, and I'm going to try to turn on this other screen so that I can see the comments from over there, because I always like to see what you guys say. I like to see uh, what you guys are wanting to know. Looks like it wants to wake up, and if we could find the old mouse here. There's the old mouse. Okay, excellent. There we go. Okay, awesome. Competitive, lots of people are typing competitive. We're going to shatter that. It's going to be over. You're not going to be worried about it anymore, right? And Alex says he's his own competition. Well, that's good if you're your own competition. I remember um, I did that years ago with the MySpace market where I made a lot of money and I was my own competition. I like bid against myself and we dominated the MySpace music page for uh, like over a year and I made over, I think close to like 2 million bucks on that. Uh, and it was simple, it was so easy, it wasn't even funny, okay? So we're gonna shatter this we're gonna make it real for you. It's gonna be over. And if you like it, you can buy my product. If you don't like it, then you probably hate affiliate marketing and you never wanna make money um, because you know I, I can't really do much with that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how this works, okay? So I got my other screen on so I can see you guys, comments, everything like that. Um, all right, here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this trigger word list. This list is worth its weight in gold, okay? It's worth its weight in gold and what we're going to do is we're going to show you how because it's really cool okay so we take these words now you might be saying marcus how do i find a niche how many of you guys need a niche type need niche okay and if you already have a niche that's cool too we're going to go through that at the end of this webinar you're going to get keyword stuff like you never got it before you're going to understand this like you never got it before you're going to be going nuts you're going to be saying thank you marcus that was an awesome call I liked it. And you're gonna give us thumbs ups on the YouTube, you're gonna subscribe and you're gonna love it. All right, David needs a niche. Who else out there needs a niche? All right, 
Excellent. Another David. Brogan. Okay. Brogan could do better niches. All right. We're going to talk about that too. Let's get this old water open and let's talk about Adam Mus. I think I said your name right. Cool looking logo, by the way. We're going to get ready. So we're going to roll up our sleeves. Look like an idiot because it makes people stay on the webinar longer. Um, but we're going to take a look. So here's what you do. If you don't have a niche, you take a trigger word like this, replacement, and you go to the Google AdWords tool and you type it in the box, replacement, okay? What you're going to notice is right off the bat, low competition, okay? Low competition, we're pretty cool, okay? We can go competition like this. We can see what else is out there and we got super super low competition okay check it out custom replacement let's go to the low competition here make sure our filters are working well there we go okay so we got like replacements you got replacement of what's the meaning of replace replacement ban albums and on and on we go uh definition of replacement replace s how to replace provisional license JavaScript replace character. Okay, pretty cool. Now, how many of you guys are looking at this and you're like, this is interesting, Marcus. Don't know much about it, but it looks interesting. Right, I like it. It looks kind of interesting. Okay, type interesting if you think it's interesting. We can even go and if you wanted to say, well, Marcus, you know, some of these have low, low traffic. Well, you could even go here and do a filter and say, well, I only want above a thousand searches a month right greater than or equal to a thousand a month then it'll sort it out for you it makes it easy a lot of people think you need fancy keyword tools and all kinds of things you don't right google's telling me right here str replace javascript replace in javascript replace meaning like look at all this traffic replace javascript so like theoretically without knowing any niche i could go and say replace javascript what do they want Okay, these are people looking for like programs and codes and things like that. These are people that spend lots of money on programmers and coders and hosting and scripts and all this junk. Okay, so we look at that and we're like, wow, check this out. Replace JavaScript, replace string, replace JavaScript, uh, JavaScript replace. Java, I mean, low competition. Look at this JavaScript string replace. That's almost a thousand searches a month. You go to the old Google, right like this. You type it in the Google and you're like, check it out. Only 22 million on free search, no advertisers, no advertisers. There's a niche if I ever saw one, right? How many of you guys can see that? If you can't see it, be honest, say I don't see it because I wanna show you how this works in a real world way because look at this, 13,000 competing, that's nothing. Like I could make a YouTube video about Java string replace and I could probably rank on the top because of the fact that there's so a little competition. Look at this, 140 if you use the timeout method. The timeout method is something that I teach in depth in my um, in my course. But if you want to know, you just type it in quotes and then you click, keep hitting, uh, hitting the back button, right, the last number, until it times out. Pretty simple, easy, right? So you look at this and you're like, okay, that could be a niche. Now you do the same thing with other words. You're like, okay, um, you know, let's take a look at that old software Marcus has, the Simple Sites program, simplesitesbonus.com. Let's look at this. Let's look at printable, right? What do people want that's printable? Now, again, remember, anticipatory marketing is everything. The markets that I've made the most money in were not direct. Okay, the markets I made the money in was not like mortgage, mortgage. It was not, um, you know, MySpace, MySpace. It was not recipe, recipe. Okay, it was very, very off the beaten path. It was just a little tweak. Like Michael says, how is that a niche? Right, huge question. And Michael, I like that question because how is JavaScript, how many of you guys honestly are like, this makes sense, but not, because I don't know what a JavaScript string replace is, right? How many of you guys are, are thinking that right now? You're like, Marcus, how is that a niche? Right? Type how in the box if you're like, how is that a niche? Okay. Uh, game download has over a million searches a month. Would you do anything with it? Yes, and I have. I've made lots of money with game downloads. Really cool. And we'll show you how in a little bit. Again, I want to focus this one on keywords. We'll have other webinars about money and there's other stuff about affiliate stuff. Okay. Okay. Everyone is asking me, how is this a niche? Well, anything and everything someone searches for is a niche. Okay. What we're gonna do, I wanna break this down for you, okay? 
So when we break it down for you, we want to talk about this, and we want to say to ourselves, what, what is a niche? What is a niche? Okay, or as the Canadians who like to play hockey say, a niche. What is a niche? All right, what is a niche or niche? A niche or niche is anywhere people are. Okay, so let's take a look. You're going to the grocery store. I just got back from the grocery store, had to get some ribs, having people over, gonna make some ribs. All right, so I go to the grocery store. Grocery store is a market. Pretty cool. It's grocery market, right? Grocery store, G store, is a market. Okay? Just like mortgage is a market. Okay? Sauces would be a niche. Okay? So I want you to envision you're going through the grocery store. Do, 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 and you got your cart. And you're going through and you're like, I'm in the market. Right? pretty simple all right I'm in the market now you're in the market and there's sub markets all around you when I go to the grocery store and I see certain things I think in terms of niches it drives my family crazy because I'm like oh yeah that's looked up 55,000 times a month oh yeah that's looked up 12,000 times a month oh that one that gets a good ROI or whatever that's how I think it's really an obsession and a craziness and a, I don't recommend anyone do that but we want to look at this so sauces would be a niche okay barbecue sauce would be a sub niche. Okay, so what it is, is it's a small slice of a big thing people do. How is JavaScript a niche? Well, you have this market of people with sites, okay? Developers, developers, website owners, they're out there. Now, it's not a genius coder, because if I asked my coder guy, what, how do you replace a JavaScript string? He'd be like, number one, you're as dumb as a box of rocks. And I'd be like, yeah, I know that. That's cool. But can you help me? Right? And he'd be like, yeah, what it is, is this. This guy wants to replace this code with this code. And I'd say, well, why does he want to do that? And he'd say, oh, well, that's easy. What it does is it allows this and this to happen. The this and the this is the money. Okay? Again, going through the market, going through the sauces. They want a barbecue sauce because barbecue sauce makes the ribs taste good. Now, people like me make their own barbecue sauce because we're really fancy, but to those that buy it, they want their ribs to taste good. Okay, so the ultimate outcome is where they want to go with it. Very important. So we look at our niche, we've got grocery store as our market, sauces would be our sub market, barbecue would be our sub. Now, does, any, does everyone see why Java would work? Okay, does everyone see that? Is anyone still wondering how that's a niche? Okay, and like, what do we back end them to? We build a list of all these people who want the help, and then we send them to like JavaScript codes and subscriptions and uh, hosting and stuff like that. Okay, very simple. Okay, does everyone get that? I want to make sure you all get it. So type like Java in the box if you guys get that. Okay. Cool. So that's what we're doing here. Now, barbecue sauce, if that was your root word, you could do the same thing. You branch out everywhere, right? All kinds of stuff. Uh, like Remy says, you have to guess their intent. No, you don't have to guess it. You have to figure it out. And you figure it out by searching Google. It's very easy. Um, like right now, when we go back to the computer, I can show you how that works. It's very cool. Okay, so we're going to go over here, and we're going to go back to the computer here. And I'll try not to knock over my entire office, right? It wouldn't be, like, surprising to most of you. You guys know me. And, you know, I'm kind of klutzy. Okay. How does money enter it? Well, Clyde, that's, that's the part where we're taking them to the other stuff, right? We're taking them to um, Java things like uh, subscriptions. We're taking them to codes. Might be able to get a commission on Elance if they need help. Right, very cool. It's it, You look at the bigger market, right? So if I look at AdSense, you're like, how do I make money, right? This is how most people think, and it doesn't work. Most people would think, how do I make money on AdSense? Does Google AdSense pay me when people sign up? No, they don't. So most people would say, well, I can't make money with that. What I do is I say, what is the goal, right? The guy looking at barbecue sauce, he doesn't 
just want barbecue sauce. Nobody wants barbecue sauce. They want tasty ribs, okay? Nobody just wants Java code. They want this. Nobody just wants AdSense. They want to get a paycheck for visitors on their site. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully you guys are having like aha moments because this is where you would get them if you were going to have them. Okay, Success Reborn says, if you feel like your life has you boxed every day, think outside the box, open your mind about it. Okay, excellent. Thank you for that. Um, common sense isn't that common, unfortunately, but uh, we'll, we'll try to make this uh, work for you. Okay, so back to, the, back to the board. So that's how we use this, right? Now, using your, um, using your trigger words, like we use printable, okay? Now, when you use your trigger words, make sure that your keyword options are turned on this. Okay, start with this. Now, when we get into the branching out, we're gonna turn that off, but right now, we're starting with this. So if we do printable, okay, we'll show you how this works. Okay, so printable, and type aha, if you guys get an aha moment at any time during this webinar, that way I know where you guys are at and how to help you even more. Okay, so now we have this and we're like, okay, printable. What do we do with printable? How does that make any sense? How does that work? Okay, we got 2016, calendar printable, uh, printable calendar, printable calendar. Okay, so, so let's think about this, right? If I wanted to go printable calendar, what would these people be interested in? Okay, type it in the box if you, if you think you got a hunch. Now, the best way to make money would be if there's like a download, okay? And we'll get into suggested bid and everything in a little bit, okay? But we could look at like time management, we could look at um, planners, we could look at all kinds of stuff, planning software, okay, lots of stuff. And all we have to do, you're like, well, what do I make as a giveaway? Well, you make a printable calendar, it's not that hard, right? Scheduling, okay, cool. Now, let's take a look at this and see what this means. Now, when you go into the Google AdWords tool, you're going to see uh, several different things, okay? First of all, you are going to see average monthly searches, okay? Average monthly searches over there, Okay, you can see where my mouse is on that thing over there, over there, right? Uh, average monthly searches means how many searches per month. Okay, so if I have 2016 calendar, that means it's getting 22,000 searches a month or roughly 700 a day. Okay, divided by 30, pretty easy. Okay, so we look at that and we're like, okay. Second, competition. Very important. This competition is pay per click competition only. That's all it shows you. It does not show you the Google free organic competition. Very important. Do not confuse them. They're not the same. The competition is for pay-per-click only. The suggested bid is how much they are estimating people are paying per click for the traffic. Okay, that's it. That's how it works. Any questions on that? Hopefully not too many. Okay, now that's all it is. The suggested bid is exactly that. It's only a suggested bid. It's not written stone. If there's no one advertising, it's gonna be a lot cheaper. Whenever you see low and you see a suggested bid of like $1.74, okay, just go to Google and search for it. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see how many people are bidding on it, okay? Which we have no advertisers on top no advertisers on bottom, okay? No advertisers on top here, none on bottom. We can even do 2017, okay? And we can see no advertisers. Okay, so this, I would say I could get for like 10, maybe 30 cents a click, uh, pretty easy. No one's bidding on it. Now, if you want another way to go, go to MSN and search for the same thing, okay? So we'll do like this, 2017, oh, there we go. All right, like this, and boom. Okay, so um, Mike says, that's so awesome, but I see your keyword planner shows specific numbers. I contacted Google and they said they changed everything. They did, you have to have a running ad. If you don't have a running ad, you're not gonna see that. If you have a running ad, you will see it. Very simple, okay? Um, so that's the fix, okay? A lot of people are gonna see uh, a range. So instead of like 22,000, it'll say between 1,000 and 100,000 which is still enough to go off. I mean, like so many people are focused on majoring in the minors, just get something done, right? If there's traffic, there's traffic. You might as well go out there and you might as well try it. That's, that's it, right? If you're part of Simple Sites and you need help locating this stuff, we can help you out with it. Um, there's also, you could go to Keyword Finder, or no, I'm sorry, um, 
keywordsniffer.com, and uh, you could use that tool, which also gives you a more aligned version. But you don't really need it. All you need to know, like if I know there's between one and 10,000 or 10 and 100,000, I can kind of gauge where it's at. Right? It's like, okay, well, how much am I going to make? You know, you just got to look at it, okay? Very important. Okay, so that's how we look at that. That's how the trigger words work. When you get in Simple Sites Big Profits and you use these trigger words, you're going to be finding niches all over the place, all over the place. Okay, now if you're a YouTuber, if you got a channel and you want to know how to find words for this, again, your biggest thing is using one, the Google Keyword Tool, two, using um, this stuff here, the uh, AdWords tool, and three, looking at what other people are doing. Okay, so we have like problem here, very cool, lots of traffic. Okay, that's all we care about is traffic. Now, Mike, if you're not seeing it and you ran ads, just go into your master account. It's right there waiting for you. Like in this same account, if I was in here and I just was in not in the master account like this and I went tools and I went keyword Google Planner, it's probably going to show me what you're seeing. Okay, the only difference is, is you have to be in there. So like this login has an account that's not, it doesn't have an ad, okay, and you'll probably see that. Okay, so it's very simple. You don't have to, like, Jones bat it or anything. Just get a master account. It's easy, right? So, like, right here, okay, notice I'm in the same account. It's just a different, it's a different spot in the account, right? So, if I do my word here, now you're going to see, da, 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 da. see, now you got the ranges. Okay, does that make sense? Pretty simple. It's like a click, all right? So, it's kind of a tedious thing, but you know, it's easy. So that's all you do. All right. Um, so that problem is solved. <laughs> We're talking about solving problems and there you go. Okay. So that's how it works. That's why you see the differences. Very simple, very easy. Now, if you're doing YouTube, if you're doing all this stuff, okay, let's say who out there has a YouTube channel that they want to get more traffic to. Okay. If you, if you're out there and you have a YouTube, you want to get more traffic to, I want you to type in your market. Okay. If it's cooking, makeup, if it's whatever, type it in the box. We're going to pick one at random and we're going to go through and we are going to, we're going to do this for you. Okay. We're going to make this happen. Uh, what kind of niche would you find from the word problem? Okay, well, good. What would I find from the word problem? Unsolved problems, uh, millennium prize, math problems. Okay. So like math problems, these are kids looking for homework. I had a dude who was like 70 years old who didn't know how to do web marketing. He made a little bit of money uh, redirecting people from homework stuff to a homework toolbar. Made some killer money. Okay, so Robin, uh, Robin Rosie says, okay, well, we're going to do two. Okay, so stick around for this whole webinar, guys, because um, we're going to go through this. This is where the rubber meets the road. We're going to go through SEO, and we're going to go through makeup. Now, John, how competitive is SEO? Let me ask you there, old buddy. I'm guessing that the SEO market is absurd. How do I know it's absurd? Because if I go in here and I do search engine optimization, right? It's absurd. Watch this. So search engine optimization. Hopefully we're still in the same account here. Look at this. Okay. So now these all have low uh, traffic. Let's do suggested bid and show you what this market really looks like. And John's going to attest to this. He's going to be like, dude, the SEO market is whack. These people are paying like a hundred bucks a click. It's insane. And it is insane because let's do it again. Let's try to get this thing going the right way here. Okay. So scrolling on down, waiting for the computer. Okay. Why is this being a pain in the butt? Please stop being a pain in the butt. Even the low competition ones are 15 bucks. So you can see where we're going here. Okay, Martha's got relationship breakup, okay? Okay, okay, so uh, why is this? Okay, I'm just going to turn this on so that we get what I'm talking about so you guys can see, okay? So here we have this. We got, um, why is this being a pain in the butt? Okay, stop being a pain in the butt. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt, right? <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Okay, so there you go. 16 bucks a click, 15 bucks a click. Insane. So how would old John get some traffic in this market? What's he going to do? All right, well, here's what you do, right? You go over to the old Google and you say 
SEO Glossary. Boom. Here you go. Here's your gold. SEO Glossary. You go here, you look at these glossaries. Okay, there's tons of them. And they're going to look cool. They're like, hey, check it out. SEO book has a glossary. They're going to have terms. And they're going to have all these terms like status, moved permanently, not found. This is gold. And I'm going to put my face on because you got to... This is gold. This is literally gold. Okay? How is it gold, Marcus? You sound like a raving lunatic. I am a raving lunatic, but this is gold. Check it out. Above the fold... Well, let's go to the old Google Planner here, and let's see how many people type in above the fold. Why would anyone want to type that in? Well, do some research, you'll find out. They're probably talking about all kinds of things like marketing. Look at this, above the fold, low competition. I'll bet you, you could go to Google, and you could type in above the fold, and you could see there's no advertisers, nothing at all. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, the only reason, like I didn't wake up today and type in above the fold. I woke up today and I looked up other stuff, right? I was messing around on YouTube and getting more traffic. But the people who type in above the fold are interested in marketing. All right, that's gold. You could do this in quotes. You could do the timeout method, right, like this. Okay, so in quotes, 459,000. Let's go to the timeout, go to the 10. And again, we cover the timeout in detail. Cody's got an aha moment. Whenever you get those aha moments, type them in because this is like, I'm literally like, here is, well, I got to show you again. See, here we go. Here is money, right? And you could take it or you could sit here and be like, internet marketing sucks. Okay. Well, you could do that all you want and you can blame all kinds of things or you could go here and you can get the money. It's easy. Check it out. 210 results. Whoa. Can you compete with 210? I certainly think so. Can you get some traffic on the old YouTube? I think so as well. So let's check out the old YouTube. Above the fold, let's do it in quotes. Okay. Ah, why can't we type? There we go. Do it in quotes. And boom. And 5,800 results. Now, the timeout method works on YouTube too. Check it out. Go to the bottom. Go to seven. Go to the bottom. Go to 10. Go to the bottom, go to 13, do this until you like get no results. 219, 219, notice this, hey, check it out on Google. It was, um, I don't know, something like that, 230 or something like that. All right, cool, so a lot of people getting aha moments, right? So look at that, hey, check it out, 210, 210. Pretty interesting, all right? Now, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That's only one keyword, that's one. You want to get a ton of traffic on YouTube? You want to get a tra ton of traffic on Google? Go through all of them, all right? Let's check out this one. There's another word called meta tags, right? I'm sure that uh, John, was it? I think John, uh, he probably knows what a meta tag is if he knows search and SEO. Meta tag, okay? This is an old school word we used to use back in like 1999 when the music was different and the kids were hip right or whatever the hell you want to say but this is something that happened back then look at this 1000 people a day look up meta tags why in the world would someone search for meta tags right did you like i didn't come in my office and be like i sure am thirsty today it's humid i wonder if there's any meta tags no 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 the people looking up meta tags don't know how to do seo they want you to help them do seo and this has low competition look at this meta tags boom 11 million let's do it in the old quotes boom okay works for youtube works for google i'm giving you guys way too much info you need to buy my shit at the end of the webinar because this is going to make you do really well if you use it okay we use the timeout right here 18 22 boom timed out 210 meta tags let's go to youtube boom okay Meta tags, do it in quotes, like this. All right, and boom, biddy, boom, biddy, boom. Very little competition. Look at this guy's got two and a half, or 250,000 views. 158,000 views. What are meta tags? 13,000 views. 18, 150,000. 
And look at this. Gold. Lots of gold for you. All you have to do is make a video. You have to make a video good. You have to get them engaging. You have to focus on subcategory words. Guys, it's not rocket science. I wish it was because then I'd look a lot smarter than I am. Um, but it's not, right? You just go down the list. Everyone starts with one view. Very simple, okay? <laughs> so says, I just laugh, bust out laughing. I'm buying your shit. Okay, well, thank you for that. All right, so there we go. Number 10, you keep going, you keep going, and you keep going, and it's going to time out at some point. There you go, 265, bada bing, bada boom, you make it work. Now check this out. Here's some more gold. Turn that old baby off. Turn this, uh, you can turn this off, or actually we're going to turn that on, and we're going to do, ah, there we go. Turn this on. And we're going to do meta tag because there's going to be subcategory words, right? Now, Mike says, but you don't have to know all about SEO in order to teach it. No, spend eight hours, become an expert at meta tags. Okay, if you give yourself eight hours, by the end, you're going to be like farting meta tags. You're going to be obsessed with meta tags at the end of eight hours. And there's, that's about all there is to know, right? There's not a whole lot to know. They're pretty simple, okay? And most people, if they're typing this in, they want basic stuff. Now, what do you do with this? What do you do with this? At the end of your video, you could say, well, I'd like to thank you for watching my video about meta tags. Now, I know that you're looking up meta tags because you wanna learn about search engine optimization. Now, there's lots of things you can do. If you're in a competitive market, I'd like you to go to my site, seorankingtips.com or whatever it is. Okay, that's not my site, that's just making it up. And go there. Right? You could put an opt-in box, you can give them an SEO report, you can do all kinds of stuff. But check this out. Right? You got meta description tag. Boom. 1,300 views. Yeah, oh, 1,300. That's a lot in the SEO market. Right? Okay. <laughs> Everyone liked my little joke about tooting out the old meta tags. Right? Here you go here. Now, again, very important when you look these words up, it's very important to look at what the views are. If everyone on this page had one view, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be interested in it. Now, Johnny says, can you put AdSense ads on that site? Yes, you can. You can totally put it. You can make a site just content about this. Like you could take your videos, you could put them on your site, you could put some content on your site and you could put AdSense on it, right? That, that's all you have to do. And you can make a good living with that. A lot of people do that. It's very simple, okay? Um, the key is flipping the market. This is the exact same thing I teach in the Simple Sites course where we flip the market from um, something like meta tag into something expensive like SEO or uh, like on this channel, right? On this channel, I have um, Jelinek curve. Jelinek curve is a term used to describe the alcoholic progression downfall, right? Look at my top two videos. I put them up a couple months ago. We got like a thousand views on one, 347 on the other. Now you might say, well, Marcus, that's, that's 300 views, bro. Man, come on. What do you... What are you gonna like buy a popsicle or something? I mean, come on. Well, check this out. Alcohol rehab is a market that I know commands a lot of money, right? Check this out. $142 a click. That means there's people right now willing to pay $142 for that click. Okay, might not be your exact clicks. So maybe you only get 10 or five or one or whatever. But if you got 300 people watching your thing, you can get them to go and maybe you can go to Offer Vault, right? And you can look up an addiction thing. And if you get a guy to make a phone call for an addiction, right? Uh, let's do rehab, right? You get a guy to make a phone call and the company will pay you like 400 bucks or something, right? Look at this, better addiction care, $1,000 a lead, right? Come on, 400 bucks a lead. You only need like one lead a week and you're making like a decent, amount right 10 calls a week and you're like freaking breaking the bank seriously this isn't rocket science very easy um do you have to do the cookie warning on adsense i'm not sure i don't think so um i think it's automatic with some things so you just have to you know look at their terms and conditions but usually it's pretty easy okay all right so we got uh, all this stuff here addiction recovery uh, drug rehab, ring partner, like tons of stuff, okay? So there's a lot of stuff there and you look at it and it works. Okay, so we got the SEO one. Again, I mean, you could spend the rest of your life making videos on all these words and you're gonna get traffic. I guarantee you, you do it, 
you will get traffic. You know, Mark, I can't get traffic. Just do it. You'll get traffic. If you don't get traffic and you do it, then, you know, you're either doing something wrong or you're not listening or your, your videos aren't live or something, right? You just have to do it. Okay, so we did the SEO one. Um, again, tons of other stuff. You could go down the list. You can do, um, what else can you do? Let's do, uh, let's do all in one SEO plugin. Okay, this is one I did years ago uh, for all in one SEO plugin. Oh, let's see. It was all in one SEO pack, pack plugin tutorial or something like that. Okay, I put this video up. It took me seven minutes. I showed them how to use the tutorial. Uh, we're not even in Google anymore, but I think we still get a lot of traffic. Uh, let's see. I know we're one of these. Okay. Do, 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 do. We'll do this on YouTube. Okay, YouTube. I know it's one of the variations of the word, but either way, it gets a lot of traffic. Um, let's see. All in one SEO pack tutorial. Okay. Kata says, I haven't made a cent in two years. Just going broke here. Well, follow this stuff. If you haven't made a cent and you follow this for, if you have been doing this the last two years, you'd, you'd have a cent and you wouldn't be going broke. Right? I mean, I can't really, I can't really show you anything like different. I mean, I can give you the course. I can show you all the stuff, but this is laid down. Like if, if you're not doing the stuff deliberately, that's why you're not making money. I guarantee you anyone on this call who's like, Marcus, I tried internet marketing and that stuff don't work, bro. Get on a call with me. I'll show you exactly what you did wrong. I guarantee it, right? Because it's a system and it works. All in one SEO pack tutorial. Boom. There we are. 25,000 views. That's approximately 9,000 or seven, seven or 8,000 views a month or a, a year. Okay. And that's good, right? 25,000 clicks in the SEO market. Um, John, you still here? How would you like 25,000 views in your SEO market? I think he'd probably like those. I think he'd probably make a cent in about two years, right? I put that up three years ago and you look at it, it's still there. It's still like number four, right? I could put a new one up today and probably get number one, um, but that's it. There's, that's what you do, right? It's simple. Now there's little nuances. See, John would love that traffic. It's like, Marcus, show me how to get that traffic, please. Well, that's what you do, right? You go down the list, you start small, right? Start with one you know you can get something easy. Like when I started my alcohol channel, I knew Jelinek Curve was like, boom, ace in the hole, done deal, right? We go to Google, type in Jelinek Curve, but most people don't know what this is. The people who do are alcoholics that need help, right? So Jelinek Curve, uh, let's do this in Google, right? We go here and that's how it works. And you just go down the line, right? You go down the line, you get the traffic, you get the traffic, you build, you build, you build, you build. Over time, if you get good videos, if you do good stuff, Google's going to be like, this guy rocks. And we're going to give him all the traffic he wants. Right? So, Jelinek Curve, I think we're on page two or something like that. There we are. Page two, we got two results. Okay? If I get those bad boys up to page one, which now that I know I can be on page two, I can certainly go to page one. Boom. Done. Deal. Okay? That's all this is about. And you go through and you look at your niche. All in one SEO. Boom. Now, you might look at this. You might say, well, Marcus, old buddy, old pal, the old Google says that there's only 390 searches a month. And you got to see my face. There's only 390 a month, Marcus. That's barely enough to feed a uh, caterpillar. I don't know. Don't read that. Read this. Okay, read this. These guys got traffic. Very simple. Okay. These guys got traffic. So you have to look at it. You have to gauge it. You have to really, really focus. Now, heroin addict, is that a great niche? No, that's not a niche. That's a market, right? <laughs> okay. okay, people are appreciating the faces here. Uh, it's hot. I'm losing my mind, but it's cool. Okay, I'm already, in your, I'm already in your niches, but I just don't get it. I even lost one of my $300 niches. Very disappointed. I can't even afford dental for real. Wish I had so much money just to meet my bills. Stop focusing on how much money you want, okay? The law of attraction, all this mumbo jumbo BS is gonna say, visualize what you want, sit in a harmony circle, 
and the world will give you the money because it wants you to have the money. The world doesn't give a rip about money. If it did, money would have grown as leaves on trees. It didn't. Money's a man-made thing. You want money? Go out and get money. It's simple. It's everywhere. It's all there. Like these guys right here, there are advertisers that want to pay me for... John wants my traffic. Advertisers want my traffic. SEO companies want my traffic. What do you do? You get out there, you put a video up, you get traffic, you send them to things that make money. It's very... Well, Marcus, you know, I've been trying this for two... If you've seriously been trying this for two years and you're not getting where you want to be, stop what you're doing, evaluate. Say, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? If I'm not getting traffic, then I'm not focusing on the right keywords. If the traffic ain't buying, either I got the intent off or I'm not focusing on what they want, which is kind of the same thing. That's conversion. It's either traffic or conversion. So which is it? Kata, did you not get traffic or is your traffic not converting? Very simple, right? Go make a site about how people can get dental insurance for free from the government, right? And make a bunch of videos. Here's how you get dental insurance. If you don't have dental, here's how you're going to get it. Well, Marcus, I don't know how to do it. Well, go figure it out because you need to do it anyway because you just complained about that. All right, I hate to be straight up with you, but this is the stuff that works, right? I can go there. I can tell you all kinds of things. By the way, I made a fortune off the word cost of braces years ago. I actually used the word cost of braces. I ranked it for a network marketing company. I got so much traffic that they got mad and they limited the amount of online orders people could get and eventually kicked me out of the MLM country, company because I got too many sales, right? They were like, you're selling too much and it's not fair to the other people that you're getting traffic. And I was like, whatever, okay, I'll put it to an affiliate program. And I did and it worked well, right? A buddy of mine had a dental site. I think he was making like hundreds of thousands of years on it um, and he was very cool. Uh, can you embed someone else's video to your site? You can. All right, Kata, and we're going to watch your results because I know you can do this. I know everyone can do it. It's not an answer of can, it's will. Will you do it? Right? Will you do it? You go through. If your video doesn't get traffic, right, you go through, you evaluate, you say, why? Why didn't it get traffic? Okay, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe it was too competitive. Maybe, maybe. And then the next video, you learn, right? and you do it, okay, <laughs> yeah, Brogan, that's it. Like, it works so easy. You could literally go to a site that talks about all the stupid bills that Donald Trump signs, sorry, not a fan, but you know, it teaches his own. But you could go, and we're talking about marketing here, you could go look at all the bills he signs, and you could find out how they are gonna make people happy or hurt people, okay? And you can make a site and say, Bill 941, how it's going to affect the unemployed. Boom, you rank, it's easy. People do it all the time. There's people right now streaming live stuff from you know news and things like that. It's our world, right? I love YouTube because it's our world. We could put our stuff up out there, right? On the search engine, you could blog about your stuff. You can help people out. Watch this, Donald Trump passed bills or whatever, right? It's going to tell you all the bills. First law allowing whatever uh, speaks about this. Look at these views, 10,000, 40,000, 6,000, 232,000, uh, 15,000, 16,000, 420,000, 40,000. There's a lot of traffic here, okay? Now, again, well, Marcus, they're pretty competitive now. Okay, good. So you go to Google and you do... A search for ones people don't know. Bills, right? Donald Trump bills, okay? And you go here. Okay, what offer would you send the, the Trump people? It depends, right? How many of you guys have seen uh, Obama passes mortgage law, Trump passes mortgage bill, Trump passes this, whatever, right? That's what they're doing, okay? That's it. You just make it. Uh, Donald Trump doesn't pay his bills, okay? Unpaid bills, Buffalo bill, I don't know. Okay, but at any rate, right, you would look up the bills that they do, and there's always, always stuff, right? Very important, okay? You could do, like, recent White House bills, okay? And it'll show you, and here you go. Here's the bills, right? You look up the bills, and you can talk about it. Now, the key is to provide value, provide a perspective, and then lead them to something that makes sense, right? Like, um, people are worried about the collapse of the dollar, okay? Dollar collapse, okay? They're worried about dollar collapse. 
Does anyone know what to do? Right? Put it in the box. Whoever knows what to do. You're, you're going to have an aha moment here. Right? Here they are. Dollar collapse. Dollar collapse timeline. Right? Very, very easy to get traffic. Dollar collapse timeline. They're freaked out. 800,000 views. 200,000 views. Uh, very little views, but, you know, you probably didn't do it right. 73,000. On and on we go. Right? What do we do? Nigel, thank you. Buy gold. Very cool, right? People freak out. Buy gold. Boom. Low competition. No advertisers. High competition. And you guys got to get my facial expression for this one. Let's take a look at what it says. If we can get it over here. $19 a click. Pretty simple, right? Are you going to get 19 I don't know. You could go to like that gold affiliate program. And every time someone like buys gold or something, you get a commission. It's like a huge commission. People make a bunch of money with it, right? Very simple. All right, Brogan's got an aha moment. Who else has got an aha moment? Okay, um, so you're saying send them to a mortgage offer on the mortgage bill. If it's, yeah, if it's a mortgage bill, like if he signs something that lowers the mortgage rate, be like, now's the time to refinance, right? It's very simple, right? Someone looking up crime statistics, send them to something about uh, like alarms and stuff, right? Very cool. So you look at it. It's very, very simple. And now there's little nuances you need to learn. That's why up above you got the Simple Sites bonus. If you like this stuff, go to simplesitesbonus.com. We're going to teach you all of it. We're going to look at your sites. We're going to help you out. All right, so we did SEO. Let's check out makeup. Okay, makeup. So you got a makeup niche. Now makeup, if you got a YouTube channel and you got makeup tips and you're not making money, you're not doing it right. You got to do it right. What you do is you go to all those free trial offers, right? There's tons. You go to Offer Vault, um, Offer Vault, right? And you do like makeup or something, or whatever the brands are. I don't know what they are. Cosmetic lines, okay? And they'll have samples. Okay. Now Offer Vault is where we go to find search, um, find uh, affiliate offers. Okay. So we'll go makeup. Uh, we got, let's get past all these paid ones. Okay. And, okay, so we got like makeup. Okay, how can we do this? Beauty? B A U T? Is that how you spell it? Okay, that might work. Let's see. Did I spell beauty right? Beauty products, weekly payouts. Okay, cool. So it's like a push notification. Um, which basically if it's a mobile and they click the thing to get push notifications, you get $1.80. You don't even have to sell anything. Um, you got skincare creams, all kinds of stuff. You got, uh, what else we got here? Online shopping. Okay. Do, 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 do. You can make up selfie makeover, 45 cents. Okay. All kinds of stuff. So there's like giveaways. There's all kinds of stuff. Really cool. Now, if you want to find traffic for this, all you got to do is do makeup. Okay, and then again, instead of the glossary, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the face. Okay, so you're like, uh, watch this, smoky eyes. Smoky eyes, is that how you spell smoky? I think so. All right, smoky eyes, check it out. Woohoo, 210,000 visitors every month. Now, one thing you can also do, my friends, is you can actually do a YouTube promoted video. Now, YouTube promoted videos have gotten really popular in the last two years, as you've seen. I was one of the first people to really do it big back in 2009, 2008, right? Actually, 2007, too. And I promoted videos, and I got traffic for like five cents, less than five cents. Some of it was like less than a penny. Okay, so it works. Like in the makeup one, you can promote your channel. You can make it really quick. Okay, so look at this. 13 million views, 4 million views, 1 million views, 14, half a million, um, 3 million. A lot of traffic. There you go. Now, Smoky, My, I, Smoky Eyes is a little competitive, so we could go for, like, variations. How to do basic Smoky Eye. Okay, let's take a look at this. How to do basic Smoky Eye. We'll put this in quotes here. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. There we go. How to do basic Smoky Eye. No results. The odds of getting a top 10, are you guys still hearing me? 
Everything okay? Okay, the odds of getting a top 10 on how to do basic smoky eye is pretty much 100% because there's like no one there, right? So basic brown smoky eye, smoky cat eye. Another tip, you can also include subcategory words that other people use, right? So I could go here and I can go down the line. So we got brown, we got cat, we got simple, we got easy. So if I did basic simple easy brown smoky eye makeup tutorial i'm gonna get some traffic not that hard to do right boom there you go okay is everyone still here type it in the box if you're here i want to make sure we didn't lose connection or maybe you guys are just like on brain overload in which case you need to buy my course simplesitesbonus.com all right if you're still here type something in the box let me know that i didn't lose you all right I think we're good. Let's see if I switch the screen, if I see it on the other one. Okay, still here? Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, you just had to refresh. You had me freaking out there, buddy. Okay, Francis says he's got to watch this many times. Yes, this uh, replay will be up right away. I um, hope you guys like this. It's really awesome stuff. If you use it, it will work. It does work. If you want to learn it in detail, if you want me to help you out, Go to simplesitesbonus.com, sign up, get the course. It's going to teach you it. I don't have to sell it ridiculous because you guys know what I, that I know what I'm talking about, right? Does anyone disagree? You look at it, you're like, dude knows what he's talking about. I mean, that's it. There it is, right? So cool stuff, right? So that's what you do. Makeup stuff, same kind of thing. Okay, makeup, did we hammer that one out? There's other stuff too. You could do like, um, I don't know, blush, blush. What about too much? I'll bet a bunch of people type in too much blush. Like, how much is too much blush? But this is the way you got to think. You got to think like a searcher. Stop thinking like a wannabe marketer and think like a searcher, right? Because it's all about them. It has nothing to do with you and what you want. Newsflash, the world doesn't care what you want. Doesn't care, right? I know that it sells lots of books to think that the world cares. Personally, I would like to think that the world cares more about fixing world hunger than it does about me buying another car, right? Personally, that's my personal view, okay? But if you want to get money, you focus on what the market wants. So too much blush, right? There we go. Boom, too much blush. Let's look it up. Again, remember, 390, 320 views here, very low. So we want to look at the videos and see what they got. So this, 100,000, okay, that's kind of low. A little, little worried about that one. 81, a little low. 2 million, okay, I like that. So I want to figure out what's going on here. Okay, 231, so there is some traffic here. So what I would do in this is I would compile them, right? I would compile them and I'd make them work and I'd go for like subcategory words and I'd pattern after the top videos, right? So I wouldn't do like correct because this one doesn't have that many views. I would pattern after the ones that get a lot of views, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, um, Chris says, hey Marcus, are the courses ready to go? Yes, uh, 2016 is ready to go. When you order today, you get 16. 2017 is, is being done. You'll get access to some of it and you will get it automatically when it's out. So that'll be there. So when you order today, everything's ready to go. You just get in there. Is the payment plan still available? Yes simplesitesbonus.com go there sign up kata do you have to have a website up and indexed in google analytics to be able to use adwords and adsense no all you need is a site that's it right or you can actually get them without it um but start somewhere right start somewhere even if you don't use adsense even if you don't use this stuff start somewhere start with something simple right seo maybe you can find an seo guy who will pay you for leads um makeup Maybe you can go to Max Bounty, sign up. We teach you how to get accepted to the networks and AdSense and all that. Sign up, start promoting something, right? Get some momentum. The best thing you could do is get momentum. Start building and start growing and start building on what you build and start building on what you did before. And you will get where you want to be inadvertently. Focus on the visitors, focus on the traffic, focus on what they're searching for, focus on them. Forget about you and what you want. 
What you want is going to say, well, I didn't get $100 today and I worked all day. I could go to the McDonald's and get $100 a day if I go to work. Well, if you want to do that, go to the McDonald's, get your $100 a day. If you want to make more than that, then follow this stuff. Because if I could teach you how to make a dollar a day every day from the work you do today, you can make a lot of money. right? You can really, really kick ass with this stuff if you do it the right way. So all you got to do is make it work. Okay. So that's the deal. Um, let's see. So we did makeup, right? We did makeup. Is there any other niches you guys want to go through? Uh, traveling. Actually, if you want traveling, there's a video on my YouTube um, about niche finding. I did it about a month ago. Go watch that. It's all about traveling. You'll learn how to find niches. It's awesome, right? I, I don't think I could do better than that on this call, so I would do that. Uh, HVAC, sure. Yeah, HVAC. Watch this. You go air conditioner leaking. Boom. Right like this. Air conditioner leaking. And boom. Low competition. Hold on one second. I'll be right back with you. And we'll look this one up. finish them. Be ready around seven. I'm going to make something else. Okay. All right. See, any people bugging me about making them ribs. All right. So I'm going to have people coming over all over the place when it starts smoking. Okay. Air conditioner leaking. Um, we need a one to 10 step process we could go through. Good. Get simple sites, big profits. It's a one to eight step process. I beat you there. Okay. So air conditioner leaking. Boom. Air conditioner leaking. Watch this. Go to Google. I like this. Boom. Air conditioner leaking. And 18,000 results. Very little. YouTube. Okay, so YouTube's here. Now, what I want to do is I want to see how many views he has. And boom. Booyah. I like it. 241,000 views. I had got enough ribs for the bear. I don't think the bear would let me have ribs. I think he'd be like, dude, I don't care about your pool screen. I like ribs. And he'd probably get them. Right? Look at this. Air conditioner, water on the floor. Um, I mean, dude, seriously, a lot of traffic here. Easy. You could do paid search. You could do whatever. How do I make money with it, Marcus? Well, you do this. HVAC. These dudes will pay you for leads. Very simple. Okay, sound recording for film, video, easy. Find all the stuff related to everything. Microphones, uh, camera equipment, low light. Video won't convert. Convert MP4 to this. Convert that to this. How to upload a video to YouTube. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, catastrophic. How do I sign up for Google AdWords? Go to Google, sign up. Simple. There's a video in Simple Sites 2016. That'll show you how to do that. Okay, uh, HVAC. Look at this. Dude pays $18 a lead. Out of those 250,000 views that guy had, I mean, maybe he could get, I don't know, 1,000 of them? That's 18 grand. How do you like them apples and air conditioners and ribs? Right? That's how you do it, guys. I hope that this video, like, kicked your butt, or this webinar or live training or whatever. I hope it kicked your butt. How many of you guys got a butt kicking? Type butt kicking, and by butt kicking, I mean you got an aha moment, right? Did you get an aha moment there? If you did, let me know, and uh, yeah, we'll get you guys going. Okay, so if you got a butt kicking, type in butt kicking. If you're going to go get Simple Sites, go get Simple Sites at simplesitesbonus.com. Guys, this is the basics of how keyword marketing works. Okay, Mike says, I want to be certain I get it. You do a tutorial on HVAC and ask them to go to your website and you provide a link to the HVAC company. Boom, you got it, Mike, that's it. Now, you wanna know how to do that the right way? Come on down to old Marcus's swamp office, get Simple Sight, well, don't come down to my office, right? you got security here. Yeah, you might get a butt kicking for real. But buy my course and meet me virtually on the interwebs, and I'm gonna show you how this works, because there's nuances, right? Some people are gonna set it up, They'll get a bunch of views and they'll get like nine people to fill out the form and they'll be like, I only got nine guys. I only made 180 bucks. Marcus, this sucks. And I'll be like, that's because you got to use old pal Marcus's 
conversion techniques, which we'll get into as well. All right, so that's what you got to do. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Buy my product. Enjoy the blackboard. And we will make money together. Remy says, I can do this. If you believe you can do it, type it in the box. If you ever buy one of my courses and you need support, don't call me. Because you guys don't want people calling me while I'm on webinars. That would be weird. So, go to MarcusCampbellSupport.com. Right? We get tons of calls. I can't answer them all. It's just crazy. My message says go to Marcus Campbell Support. Whether people obey that or not is up to them. But go to Marcus Campbell Support. You can even talk with us live. So can do this. Everyone can do this. The question is, will you? Will you do it? If you will, go to that link up there, simplesitesbonus.com. Sign up. Use the payment plan if you're broke. If you're seriously really, really, really broke, don't come on live chat and tell me you're broke. Watch the videos on the YouTube. Subscribe. Follow this stuff. There's enough free stuff to start making money, right? But don't just don't buy the program because you're cheap. That's the worst place to be, right? Don't ask yourself, how much does it cost? Ask yourself, how much is it going to make me? Very important because there's a difference in life between cost, right? You could buy things. You can buy stuff and it costs, but are you willing to invest in you? If you are, go get the course. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun. I got to go cook some ribs for hopefully not the bear, for the kids and the friends and the people coming over to swim in the muggy rain. So go get your stuff at simplesitesbonus.com. And follow the sign that says, get stuff done. Get some stuff done. It ain't that hard. You just got to do it. And when you're in my coaching, you can ask me for help. So go in there. Make it happen. Make some ribs if you feel like eating ribs. And <laughs> make some money if you feel like making money. And I hope you enjoyed this. Let's make some money. Let's make it happen. I'm Marcus from AffiliateMarketingDude.com. Subscribe to the YouTube. Give us a bunch of thumbs up. Let's see if we can get like over 100 thumbs up in the next hour or so. And let's make some money. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next call, which is another reason you want to subscribe because you want to be on the next call. Thanks again. Marcus, out.